Hello, this video is uh, how to assemble a micro water launcher. And if you're watching this, maybe you've already picked up uh, a launcher that I put together, or maybe you're looking to make one of your own. If you bought one of my kits off of eBay, first of all, thank you. Um, and this is just so you know what's coming in the package, how to put it together, and how you know to do your first launch. This is how it comes. It comes in just a simple envelope for the micro. When you open it up, it's going to be in two parts. I have the launch tube, which is this guy right here, and the base. So, first thing I'm going to do is take off the string. Now, the launch tube and the base are the two pieces, and you just have to put them together. Putting them together is really simple in that you just screw it together, like a light bulb, sort of. Now, you can do it hand tight. And honestly, hand tight is still going to be good enough for almost everything you're going to want to shoot off, especially for entry stuff. It, when you get higher pressures, you might get some air leaking from here at just hand tight. But usually the amount of air you'll lose during the time that you're pumping it up is very fractional compared to the pressure load that you're putting inside the bottle. So even if you have a light hiss or something like that, it's not something that can throw off your launch entirely if you don't, you're not concerned about that. If you're going to really high PSI or you don't want any leaks at all, you can take it one step further and take like a, a wrench. This is actually some channel locks. Or you could get, uh, you know, just a crescent wrench or a standard wrench, anything. And you can just torque it down a little tighter. But honestly, for today, I'm going to go with roughly hand tight. Now, when I ship these out, so anyway, that's assembled. When uh, I ship these out, I actually set them up to be prepared to shoot uh, Sprite bottles. And... You know, almost any two liter, you can shoot any two liter bottle off of it you want. Um, but some, I've noticed that some bottles have just, just fractionally different uh, mouth openings. And that will mean that they might land at slightly different heights on the tube when they finally meet that final seal. And for that, there's a screwdriver placement right here. that You can just put in a screwdriver and you can loosen it up or you can tighten it up. That'll make it so you can raise the whole launch collar up and down. And what you do is you just slide it up until it locks on your bottle, slide it back down, tighten it, then you can unleash, unlock the launch collar and you'll be tuned for whatever bottle you set up for. I'll put up another video up for that so we don't waste time with it here. And let's see how it fits just out of the box working with a Sprite bottle setting. So to launch it, first yep, wow, this crush bottle is really tight. Okay, so the crush bottle is a little bit different. It's going down and it is locking in right at the Sprite bottle place. So anyway, you launch it, lock it on, put it up like that stops. It's loaded. Now, of course, there's no water in here right now. I think we'll take off the cap here. And this is where you hook up the pump. All right. All right. So next, we've got it all assembled. It's hand tight. We've taken off the, the stem. When we, I launch it, I actually like to take the string and put it under this notch right here. Right here. Uh, I do this for two reasons. One, the notch sort of keeps it from sliding back and forth. It keeps it nice and straight, which I think looks tidy. But another thing is that if you get, when you're going to launch, especially my kids love to do it all the time, I actually ask them to pull it back rather slowly. But let's say they got really exuberant and they pulled it up. If they pulled it up, it would tilt away from them. And so if they got a false launch, it's going to shoot away from them. Rather than if they pulled it right here, they could potentially pull it towards them. So this helps it pull away. Yeah, so with that, we're basically to the point where you just need to pick a two liter bottle. This is another crushed bottle, except I just ripped the, the label off a little bit so you can see the water in it. I fill it up about a third of the way, but you can experiment with different heights. Now to put it on, you're going to lower the launch collar. I like to take the, launch, the launcher. These crushed bottles really feel very tight. Push it on all the way until the locking heads, these little things, get over the neck on there and then just turn it back over there you go and so this one is all ready to pump up you just need your bicycle pump and we're ready to go so i'm gonna go out to the yard right now and we'll do that okay so we're here outside right now and we've got our bicycle pump i like this one because it has a gauge built right into it we've attached the bicycle pump to the back of the schrader valve and we've already lengthened out the string so it's already ready so we don't have to be fiddling with that once it's pressurized and so next is just start to pump it.
Okay, now the bottle's pressurized and we're ready to launch. We'll set the cameras up so you can see it fly away. And all we're gonna do is pull the string to lower the launch collar. As soon as that launch collar, collar falls down, the rocket, the bottle, is gonna be free to fly.